Hello YouTube, what's going on? Uh, my name is Nate Robertson. I started this channel, Upstate Builder 607, um, for the main focus uh, to keep track of this build. Um, I went out and purchased a 1984 uh, Chevy K10. It's got K20 leaf springs on it, but it's a K10 because it's still a six lug. Uh, four wheel drive, four speed with a 350 in it. Um, I want to document uh, the whole. I want to document the whole uh, process of the build and what goes into it. I won't be uploading very much. I'm gonna only be uploading like every time I do something to the truck. I just bought the truck last week. Um, I did the first modification on it without documenting it because it really needed it bad. Um, when I purchased the truck, that was the only thing that was wrong with it. It needed headers and exhaust pipe uh, all the way back. Uh, it's all rusted out and rotted. Um, if you guys can hear a big loud noise in the background, it's a highway. I live next to a highway. Everything works on the truck. The only thing that doesn't work that I can't get to figure out is the headlights. Um, I don't know whether it's relay switch or the dimmer switch or it's the headlights themselves, but I doubt it because there's four of them on the 84 and not a single one of them works. So I'm believing it's a relay or something to do with wiring. Um, it's sitting on 35s. I don't know if those are stock rims. I'm not sure. Um, everything pretty much is all right on the truck. I mean, it needs some rust repair on the frame. And my whole plan for this whole truck is to take it down to frame, which is gonna be slow now uh, due to me not having a second vehicle. I'm gonna buy a second vehicle here soon. Um, but I would like to take it down to frame, sandblast and paint the frame. I'd like to rebuild the transmission, rebuild the motor. Um, I'd like to turbo the motor. There's, um, custom I either get a custom turbo kit or a turbo kit made by a company that makes them I haven't really researched it that much um, but the 350 is a powerful engine but it's not super really super really powerful so I'd like to throw a turbo on it just because I know it, it up the power quite a bit uh, it's carbureted so I'd have to figure out something with that I might have to go to fuel injection with the turbo kit if something comes around um, it's like I said, the 350, uh, four speed, four wheel drive, sitting on uh, K20 leaf springs, but K10 axles still. Uh, it's got, I believe it's a four and a half or five or six inch lift. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't do that either. Um, but I'll take you around the truck and show you the first modification that was done to it. I'm gonna do something later on about the headers. Uh, I would like to get new headers. I bought used headers off a of buddy and put them on there. But here's the truck. It needs a little bit of body repair. Needs a lot of couple things, a lot of little things really. And that's what this whole channel is about. Is going to be about building this, working on it, fixing it up, and really doing the best I can to make this truck come alive. And when I was doing the headers, I shut the door and I don't know if this is Bondo or this is something from factory, but this all came out, so I gotta fix that. Um, here's the interior, don't mind the mess. Um, I did paint these black as well because these were blue, it was kinda ugly. I'm gonna probably redo that better on later on, but I could not stand having blue doors and everything else on the truck black. So I had to fix that. Um, there's the manual shift, um, manual uh, four-wheel drive shift lever. It's already got trailer brakes set up. Um, it's got weird, the 84s didn't have a horn. There's no horn in the steering wheel. It's down here. But um, show you underneath the hood, give it a quick start up. But I did go end up, there's all the old exhaust. I did end up going with no mufflers just straight exhaust so it is very 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 loud oh i guess i didn't pop the hood enough yeah some things on this truck are a little sticky some things need to be oiled and greased up and fixed and 
tinkered with really but here's the hood i'm gonna end up doing something with this i'm gonna rip all this out and put new in or just leave it out um it's really just heat proofing for the hood so i had put those long tube headers in so the original manifolds were pretty rusted uh the truck has a high rise two barrel edelbrock carburetor and an edelbrock uh 360 full air intake system um or air filter i should say um holly heads heads but i don't believe or holly um yeah holly heads well it's not holly heads it's holly head covers head covers head i forgot the name i'm drawing a blank right now but it's got holly head covers uh, i don't believe the heads are actually aftermarket only because the same simple fact is that that intake um manifold is stock so there's a lot of things that need to get fixed up as you can see i live in upstate new york that's the other name of the reason for the channel name but it needs some rust repair as you can see here but it can definitely be brought back to life pretty easily and i'll give you a start up here again um, I have more pipe to do it I just it was a little cold when I was doing it so I didn't get to fully do it but um I'm gonna set you guys back over here and I'll give you a full rev channel for a little bit um these is the videos i'm gonna be posting if you do like chevys or old trucks or just simply want to see what the build comes out to in the end it's gonna take a little bit but stay tuned and uh subscribe to the channel and turn on the, uh, the post notification bell and you won't miss out on seeing this thing get fixed up I will catch you guys in the next video, which will be the first modification that I post on YouTube. I'm not sure what it'll be yet. I'm sure it'll be something um, here soon because I got to do tons of things to this thing. Uh, I'm only driving it a little bit down the road here and there to work and back, and that's really it. And that's why it's kind of dark out when I'm doing this video is because I just got home from work. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to stay tuned in to watching this truck, turn into something that it's not right now hit that subscribe button